night, Louise and I were taking a neon stroll through the illuminated maze of the hot end of the city. We were lost in the dark, blinded, envious of not being able to care less. Like here we happen to be, it could have been the end may never come about. When rainbows of valleys clocks, lying flat on open range, an oncoming figure ripped through a once protected hot shield of self-reliance. Well, listen to you to this. I mean, face to face we stood, shocked to the point of immobilization, hardly an onion spread apart, apprehensive to say the least. My head became a non-audio, yet visual only entity in regards to the whole terrifying encounter. Yes, nothing but an 8mm projection device, powerless to produce an equivalent reaction. Yet, when I say yet once again, the point, if you will allow for that, of the anonymous addresser was absorbed. Something like Jesus is Lord. Bonds, which I suppose stem from his parents' sincerity of the mysterious assailant, we continued our electromagnetic ascent across concrete seas of production teams, unable, try as we may, to shade the previous happenings from our conscious selves. Some two weeks later, the very essence of our night strolling game just lingered in our innermost, hauntingly may it be, when the identical message confronted us again in the form of two effervescent young lovers, proclaiming the love of all that is and was and all that will be belonged eternally to them, and any who desire to screw their acceptance to the point of absolute abandonment to Christ. Preposterous flash through a mind. Yet, and by now you must be quiet, and I do say quiet, familiar with the use of yet. I say yet, but something much greater than I place a finger in rather than on our heart, causing us to assume a functioning role in the body, saved as miracles are often discussed, washed in the blood of the Lamb, and in conscious cohabitation with the perfect, if you understood, the perfect spirit. We rejoice.